Hello dear friends, this video I mostly will show you some of the Chinese painting and calligraphy art supply I got from China this time. And these are the, um, the 101 ink stick. They are, 101 is the highest quality of, uh, of ink stick which means the, 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 the smoke, the stick, are more refined and the color is more, uh, is of better quality. So Yu Yan 101, if you can see. Yeah, Yu Yan 101, Yu Yan 101. Yu means oil, Yan is smoke. 101, so it's, uh, I'm sorry, it's, I am against the sun because I'm sitting on the, on my desk, the desk is receiving sun, it's against the window, so I'm sorry you have to suffer all the time, this, uh, this, um, this lighting inefficiency, uh, inefficiency, deficiency. And this one, another, I have several of these uh, 101, the more refined. They are, they are commercial quality, they are not uh, the collector's quality, so it's not too expensive. It's a, it's a good quality, decent quality, one of the best quality, but uh, for mass production, it's not like some, some, uh, uh, um, souvenir uh, production. I'm not talking about the souvenir of uh, of tourist shop. I mean, it's not uh, um, designated for one particular uh, artist or one particular uh, shop reason. It's uh, a general use, good quality ink stick. You can see from the from the ink stick, it's. Uh, Okay, let me take on the camera. Maybe this way you can see a little bit better. So you can see the color is much more um, under the sun. It is very refined and each of the, the gold and silver ink is on the exactly right place. It's not uh, um, a bad printing. Oftentimes, you see a good workmanship. If everything is correct, it is correct. If there is something wrong, for example, the ink, the, the gold ink goes here and there out of space, it may not be right. So this one is the good quality 101 ink stick. I, I have sold out, but finally, I went to China and I bought some new. And this one is individual colors. And uh, a lot of you and myself, I buy Chinese painting colors, but uh, usually there are a few colors that you use more. For example, the, the gamboge yellow is a typical Chinese painting color. It is used, this color, it is always in demand. If you buy a, a box of 12 color, and this one will finish before some of the other color does not even open up. So some shops sell a box of 12 color with actually 13 color with Cambodge and extra. So this time I bought uh, individual colors and it is also on my shop if you would like to to have it and uh, this one i feel the quality is a little bit better usually um, a lot a lot of times this kind of uh, of aluminum the old packaging method it's uh, it's very easy to 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 break they use lead or something, but this one is better and you use this pin. It's like uh, Chinese medicine, uh, it's like uh, the Western medicine, you push it and the color come out. So 
the Cambodge yellow color, which is very much on demand, and the white color, titanium white, it is used very, very often because putting some white, it really brings the color to, brings the contrast and brings color to life. If you do painting, you know what I'm saying, right? When you do painting. I bought two Cambodge because we, we need a lot of uh, this color. And uh, of course, I have other color that, uh, that I will not open it up right now. Oh, oh, I will do another video because uh, we cannot uh, upload so many videos. Cell phone upload is quite uh, uh, difficult. Well, okay, hello dear friends, let's continue with this. And this one is uh, uh, orchid bamboo brush. One friend, I do not know if uh, you are watching this video or not. You mentioned you would like to have uh, this brush, and uh, at that time I was almost all sold out. Uh, only a couple left, so did not have enough for your to satisfy your demand. And now I got some new supply, and if you need, this is a large orchid bamboo brush. I always love this brush. It's uh, Cannot zoom in right. Okay. Without moving, you can see it clearly. I am against the sun. So it's a Lang Hao Da Lan Zhu. Lang Hao Da Lan Zhu. Large orchid bamboo brush. And another thing to, to uh, fill in the Sorry for the noise of the plastic. Another is the, is the, um, the uh, ink stone. This is a, this is purely for for you to use, and uh, I don't think anybody would do a business for this if uh, there is not a relationship between the, the user and the buyer. Imagine the, how heavy it is. Let me see. I carry it back from to the airplane, and, uh, and it is so heavy and so not, not expensive. So it's one pound, 61 pound. 59 ounce. Let me see how many kilo. Okay. And it's a 600 gram. And I hand carry this coming back. So, um, the, so because it's so heavy and so difficult to to carry it and sometimes there are chips and I got friends who does not like the chips. Of course if myself I buy something I will not like the chips. It got chipped but this time it did not and the surface is a little bit rough. It's uh, for general use. It's not a collection item and uh, therefore it's not that expensive. In China it's a uh, much less expensive, but uh, imagine you ship it and uh, and especially hand carry it. It really costs a lot of uh, a lot of uh, hard and work and sweat. So this is the ink stone, and if you if you you want to have it, better get it uh, quick because I'm pretty sure I'm not sure. Um, it might disappear quite quickly because uh, usually we do not have this decent size. Inkstone and brush and uh, what else? And some other uh, inks. And this time I got uh, a new kind of brush. 
This one is a pure orchid band made in Taiwan. This brush, it's a pure. Uh, they say bao lang hao bao lion wood. I do not know, but it might be a special kind of wood hair brush, and it feels very good. Comparing with what we usually have, this kind of orchid bamboo brush. You can see the stick is is wide here and thin here, so when you hold it, you feel very delicate, and uh, you do some painting much more delicately. And this one, I'm not saying good or bad. It's all um, have its own unique character, and this one is much larger on the side. You can see the stick is much larger. When you hold something large and bulky, your hand have much more uh, the, the, the roughness or the strength and power. So this one may come out very, very strengthful and uh, very, um, very, very strong character. It's, uh, it's all different. And it's a, a very, very good Okay, book. hello, dear friends. This one, I would like to show you some of the books that I got this time. And uh, it's a Chinese calligraphy tracing book. But the difference is that they are tracing paper. The tracing paper is on magic paper. So, for example, this is the cover of it. At the same time, I will try this new brush, okay? We say it's good, and uh, let's say how good it is, or how not good it is, because I have tried it. And uh, many, many years ago, my husband bought it from Taiwan, a couple of it, and I loved it. I have very good confidence and, uh, in the quality of this kind of brush. So let's go for it. Get some water, a little bit more water. Sorry, I didn't use that water dropper because uh, it's not a very big deal now. So when you use the brush, <coughs> when you use the brush, dip into the water. You already soak it. You can use your hand very gently break the 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 glue or soak into the water, whichever way works for you. Nowadays, the glue is not so strong, so you can use your hand just to bend it, but gently do not bend it too strong. Press and bend, press and bend, it becomes soft. Now this one is becoming soft, totally soft, and uh, deep into the water, and use the edge. It's always not in the right zone. Okay, use the edge to to leak the water out so that it is in the right shape, get to the shape you like, and get excess water out. So you go right, like this, and two minutes later, or three minutes later, or five minutes later, or whichever minutes later, it will disappear. So you can see some of it already disappeared. When the water is uh, is gone, this will disappear. So here is the whole book of it. On the left side is the standard character. And this one is from uh, Liu Gongquan. Liu Gongquan is actually, when I was young, my parents bought a, um, a Chinese calligraphy, bought many Chinese calligraphy books. And um, they thought uh, they liked this style, so they asked us every day to practice this. We press it down a little bit. Go. Stay here. Okay. Now it's stable. So you can see, so this side is the standard character and how to start the stroke. You go jing, 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 jing. It's like uh, 
a hook circulation. This the stroke um, order. Each of it has it, and the first one it writes one, two, three, and then later on it does not write because you know it's always from left to right, from uh, top to bottom, right? This is the stroke order, and the tiny bit of this it shows the movement of your hand. So you can do on the right side. On the left side is the sample. On the right side is the exercise. It does not show very, very, very clearly because it suppose you will do the job, right? So I'm holding. Let me see if I can do this. I have one hand holding it, so it's not very comfortable. This brush is a tiny bit da, large for this carriage. Why? Because um, for a seasoned or um, for the people who use this very often, this brush is okay. They can write with very large brush but control very well and write very small carriage. It's better if you are new to this, use a smaller brush because smaller brush, even you press it very strong, it does not have very large stroke coming out. So by nature, you will have less chance of making mistake. And the large brush, even the tiny movement, you can, you can make large stroke. So more chance of making mistake. But using for a seasoned, calligrapher using a large brush writing very small delicate character it shows more of the the skill and uh, the inner ability of the artist okay i will stop here so this one is uh, i will show you in another video of see this one already get dried you can use it many times a hundred times a thousand times as long as uh, your water is clean enough, nothing special, only water, as long as even you can use your finger to write, and later on it will disappear. Do not worry, because it's only water. It's water sensitive. Okay. So, the other book uh, the other video i will show you each of these styles okay. okay hello dear friends let's continue with this and this book i will show you the styles of each of this book this one is liu ti kai shu liu is liu gong quan is one of a uh, very famous chinese calligrapher and uh, he created or he he does uh, he did the a calligraphy style and such a wonderful, beautiful style. And later on, people traced his uh, calligraphy inscription and uh, it becomes a very mature, a very famous style, Liu Gongquan. Kai is standard. It's the, the one of the most uh, uh, readable when you have uh, those uh, uh, a very fast uh, scripts it's uh, it's not easy to to read to recognize but this one is the very standard style and um, this style is uh, it's a little bit slender but not too slender and uh, it's just uh, it's not thin the character is not thin it's slender it's a, a very well proportioned and uh, it makes Chinese calligraphy look so elegant and uh, and um, and smooth. It's like um, I cannot find a particular way of writing it. 
if we say something about fashion model, this one is not the sweetest, is not the sharpest fashion model, not those kind of very chic fashion model. It's like uh, just uh, elegant and uh, swinging, smooth, uh, moving, flowing, those kind of style. Yes. Can you? Can you? Um, Visualize it. Can you visualize it in your imagination? Some very um, nice music with with uh, slender ladies walking nicely. Yeah, this is the the style. <laughs> Maybe I'm not making the right comparison. I should not compare this with fashion model. It's. Um, It's a very, very, very well proportioned carriages. So this one is Yan Ti style. The green is a yellow style. Uh, uh, Liu Ti. This one is Yan Zhen Qin, and also standard style. You can see this character has uh, has more strength. It's like um, <laughs> sorry again, fashion model. It's like. Uh, right shaped but uh, very high shoulder and uh, stiff shoulder those kind of uh, uh, strength for fashion model it's elegant uh, powerful and uh, <laughs> yeah but not too thin it's just uh, the right weight right proportion they are all good and good for their own goodness so this is uh, um, uh, Yan Zhen Qing style, Yan Ti. And this one is O Ti. O Ti, this style is, uh, it's, uh, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, it is elegant shaped and uh, strong. But uh, does not show up that strength. On the surface, you see very, um, very soft, very tender. But there is a lot of strength hidden inside, and it's a perfectly proportioned. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not sharp, but uh, internally there is a lot of strength in this character. They are all just perfect. They are perfect. And this one is Ouyang Xun, another Ouyang Xun, but this one is a little bit larger. And um, one step, uh, one step further than the standard style, than the standard printing style. It's a little bit of, uh, of freedom in it. And still very, very readable, sorry. And still very, very readable and very, very elegant. How beautiful. How can people make such wonderful works? Jiu Cheng Gong. OK. So these are the calligraphy. I have some more. And they are all on my online shop, if you are interested. These are all on magic paper. Thank you.